Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's rank play video, we have a special one. The first video we did on this channel for rank play was an LSE low control. And I showed you guys how to play it solo queue and that video absolutely blew up. So, do why not try it again, but this time an updated version. In season 3, let's see how the game changes and what we do differently. So, starting off here, the team went off to the best possible start getting a 4P. So, what I'm going to do here is try to spawn trap them. You want to make sure, especially on defense, you're trying to suffocate the opponents into their base. I want you to think of the maps into three segments, right? You have your first two segments the first segment is your spawn the second segment is the middle map and then the third segment is your opponent's spawn once you have the four kills you want to basically push up and control the first and the second segment this basically suffocates your opponents into their segment and just makes it a lot harder for them to get out their spawn so overall really good start there we got the first guy now going over here they've already lost seven lives we're gonna go through try to take out the guy on b some terrible shots there but we managed to take him out there and we do get traded so overall pretty back and forward start but we definitely have the lead here and now on this map you always want to try to prioritize the b point i think because I think B, once you lose B, I feel like it's a lot harder to kind of hold the A side. Because if they have that top AC control on the right, that top kind of satellite control, then it's really hard to break them. So right here, I'm on the A side just because I was a bit closer. We chucked the grenade over. And now once you use your equipment and you make the one shot, make sure to pounce on that. Don't sit back and relax. You want to make sure you're playing aggressive and take him out while he's weak. Now what I'm going to do is while my teammates are kind of going through my side, I'm going to try to go through their side. Now, there's a couple of things to point out here. I think the overall play wasn't a terrible play, but I think right there you have to really know the timings. And I I feel like I didn't play that really well there because I didn't know where my opponents were going to be and I just got really bad timing. But looking back at it, I probably should have came maybe like checked the right hand side first or maybe gone up top through the window or maybe turned something slightly different because I kind of ran out in the open and was just going for luck there. And here's another gunfight where, again, I wasn't really playing my best here because that's an AR gunfight right there. I'm challenging it with a Vaznev and the problem with challenging with a Vaznev there is even if I manage to get the first shot right, first of all, he's got attack 56. So his gun at that medium range is just going to be a better option. So you just don't want to be challenging a gunfight where you're not in the favor, especially in this game with the time to kill so quick. It's just there's not much time to react there. So off to a bad start to break off here. Like we started off really well, and then going through the round here, they actually managed to catch on and they managed to take us out really quickly. But let's see if we can kind of play alive here. We're gonna go through, and that's a really popular like re-challenge I like to do with the door. So what I like to do is I like to shut the door and then kind of just go through the door straight away. It doesn't really do too too much in terms of cambering my opponents, but what it does is it's just a bit of a distraction. When they see the door shut, they just kind Kind of in their head just assume that no one's going to challenge them so nice little tip you guys should maybe take from that is if you guys have a door next to you and you shut it immediately re-challenge and sometimes it catches your opponent off guard but i don't really know what happened there like we started off so well and then they just did such a good job of breaking here and i want you to look how i kind of get through with an smg here because there's a guy on the left with a spawn trap i feel like i played this pretty well with this specific scenario we went through we actually played that perfectly we went through we, we dolphin dive out the way we picked up an ar and we rechowed him so instead of standing in the open and get taken out we rechowed him but with about 40 seconds left the lives about even they've only got one push left in terms of to get the point here because there's not much lives here so they got seven lives we managed to take out one and now we're in a 3v3 hopefully the boys can clutch up here and see what happens as one person's on the hill he does get taken out but just like that i do get spawn trapped but we still up up in live and we have the time advantage to our side now although that opponent killed me from a pretty good spot in this scenario if i was him i don't think i'll be playing that spot just because of the time left on the on the round i feel like i'll be a bit more involved on the hill here and you can see just like that all my teammates managed to go down and just like that we managed to lose the round i mean literally all of a sudden all three of my teammates lost their gun fight so we were we were inches away from winning the round but unfortunately we went short there and now we have a big mountain to climb we're losing the first defense is never good but let's see how we do on the first offense our backs against the wall we lost the first defense but now we're in the offense we're going to go through the middle here as my teammates approach a we're going to try helping them out here and now what i want to do is just try to lock down this initial middle control because once we have middle control as i spoke about in the first round we kind of have those two segments locked down and this is the best possible start here as we get a two piece as a team i go through i take out the third and just like that we get three down and now notice on my teammates on the b side so what i should have done there that wasn't a good play for me looking back at that in hindsight i mean he got a good angle on me but what i should have done is either back off and get on the point or maybe just play that top kind of building area and because i only had an smg i didn't have an ar right so what i should have done is maybe play the top area and let the opponents come to me but nevertheless we managed to lose that one and that's a gun fight i should not be losing i'm actually gonna watch a kill come here and i mean he did a really good job of pre-firing me so fair play to him he did everything on his side but that's just not a gun fight i should be losing and i should definitely be winning that so i'm gonna have to go back to the lab and work on my centering there i did increase my sensitivity recently so my aim's not been the same but overall i feel like overall this is definitely the best move for me i will i'll probably have a, a separate controller setting video like an updated video 
the year for you guys. But for now, back to the point here. So a team is getting three down, and I'm just trying to watch this middle alleyway. For me, this is one of the most important areas to watch because they can either come from this left hand side here, as you saw, I sound hold him, or they can come from the ladder, or from this bottom yellow tools area. So I like to just kind of play the area with an SMG, and just at that, we almost close to getting both sides here. As you see, my teammates get B. What I'm gonna do is go towards A, and I'm just trying to get any pick here, anything I can do. I've still got my equipment to work with. We see like we see a guy on the left there. I try to get some shots on, not good shots at all. We stun him, we get a grenade on, and we actually make him weak. So if I actually, you know, didn't miss every single bullet, we would have got that kill there. We turn around, we almost kill this enemy as well. So kind of going back and forward here, but overall, we're definitely in a good position to win this round here. We got the life advantage, and we only need one tick with a minute and a half left. We're gonna pop the dead silence and go through the mid-map pair. Let's see what we do and how we approach the situation. So good centering onto the first enemy. We do manage to take him out. We're gonna go through here and try sneaking over to the second enemy. We see him, we spot him, we take him out. We're gonna jump through the corner here. And just like that, we had a really good breakthrough. Managed to get two enemies. I've still got my equipment to work with. So let's see what happens there. But overall, really good position. We're gonna go through. And I really like the play there. But unfortunately, my centering was just off by quite a lot there. So I feel like if my centering was on there, that would have been a really good play to get the three piece. But looks like the boys managed to clutch up and we take it 1 1. Let's see if we can go through the defense. I mean, we should be able to win the next defense here. It's 1 1. Both teams winning the offense, though. So a bit strange so far. But let's see what happens in the next round. And here we are in the round three. This is where things get interesting. Can the team clutch up? Can we win the first defense of the game here? We should be able to. We're definitely in a good position as we go through. We try to take out the first guy. No stuns actually went anywhere there, though. So we're going to kind of go through, see if we can spot anyone. And this is a bit of a weird start, to be honest, because I didn't spot anyone in the middle. So I wasn't really sure where the enemies were. So I maybe could have backed off then, just play the middle building a bit more carefully. So I feel like this map, what I'm realizing, there's a lot of opportunities for me to maybe play with an assault rifle. But instead, I'm, I'm playing like an assault rifle with an SMG. So I feel like that's where most of my deaths were coming from this match and to be honest I don't think I played excellent this match But I think there's a lot of small mistakes, which I hopefully you guys can learn from I think are pretty obvious But in the moment I was making them so let's see uh, let's carry on seeing what we do here as we go through and with an SMG in this scenario I actually like to play around these boxes and just try to sound on my opponent So we go through and really good drop shot there That's just a gunfight that my opponent had the drop on me He literally knew I was coming around the corner, but really good reactions. We managed to get the drop shot uh, drop shot and just like that We're in a really good position now. We're in the driving seat. We got the dead silence popped up once again, we're going to go through and just try to use the sound cue to our advantage. As we go through, and that guy absolutely fries me. I mean, fair play to him. And he had the attack 56. I mean, just great shots from him, man, to kill me. So, 1-1 one, one in the gunfight set. You literally saw me. I was so annoyed by that gunfight. I literally got out attack 56. But I think the way I'm playing right now, I think attack 56 is definitely more suited here. 25 seconds left. Let's see what we can do here as they start to get the A point here. We're going to go around here. going to jump on these stairs just to get a bit of a line on sight. And what this does is it allows me to kind of narrow down what corner my opponents are going to be in. So, you see, no one's on the right. No one's in front of me. So what I know, I know for a fact that they're going to be in that left corner once you go through there. So I'm going to hope my teammate can take them out there. And as I mentioned earlier, B is just so much more valuable for me. So I'm going to sit on this head, which we take out two. Some really good shots there to get the two piece. And what that does is just slows down the push and puts a lot less pressure on my teammates there. And now I get a stun off. The third guy's on B as well. So once again, I'm just going to narrow down the angle. Something I like to do here is just, just narrow down the angle. So no one's on the right. Okay, let's check the other angle. No one there. Okay, they're on the left. So going through there. And I know that they have to kind of cross these pathways if they want to get through. So really good job here when I whipped out the assault rifle and you see straight away We managed to get five six kills this round So I definitely should have got assault rifle early and oh my god We're absolutely frying now we get the bloodthirsty and just like that the round flips on its head And they only managed to get one tick with three seconds If we're gonna go towards a just because of the way the spawns are I knew they were gonna be on the a side We help my teammate we get the pre-fire off we take out one and now this isn't a play I'm actually a fan of right here with me jumping down kind of blindly because he definitely has the advantage Unless I'm already turning on him pre-aiming him. He definitely has the advantage So I maybe should have played that a bit differently there maybe could have come from a different angle but my teammate gets a two-piece and this round is all but over here but that small mistake i did you see how it basically allowed the opponent to get that extra tick this could definitely cost us later in the game if their team goes on to have the defense so again a small kind of thing to pick on there but if you guys are trying to perfect your game maybe try to avoid stuff like that i feel like i definitely shouldn't have done that just jumped off blindly there i should have maybe went around I don't, i'm not sure if i still have the equipment on me but i definitely knew he was in that corner so i could have played it a bit differently but nevertheless we managed to win the defense so that's two rounds on the on the bounce there so pretty good we've got some momentum i've got the assault rifle out we've got the cruise missile things are looking good can we close this game out 3-1 or will this go to the round five let's find out now we're on the offense i'm a bit keen to use my streak you see it's still not available for 10 seconds here but let's see the difference in the break here with the assault rifle compared to the smg so looks like we're going for the grenade in the alleyway i actually i'm not i'm a bit of a fan of that to be honest i that's uh, one of my most popular breaks trying to chuck an assault
So uh, what I like to do is chuck a grenade in this little alleyway here where I'm aiming. Just in case somebody comes through that door there, I like to take them out. And now this is really important. I actually remember thinking this in the game here. You see how I'm sitting passively there? As soon as my teammate got a two-piece and I realized that, I went, ag I went again and played aggressive here. This was just really unfortunate. I didn't see this guy on the floor there. I did see him, but I thought it was a dead body. I mean, that should be a kill every day of the week there. So I'm going to take that with a pinch of salt and not really go into that too much. It's just I should have just saw him, to be honest, but I thought it was a dead body. But what I want to kind of highlight is with an assault rifle, you see how I was sitting back as soon as my teammates got a two-piece i pushed on i played aggressive because i want to make sure i'm helping them as much as possible if you can help your team if you can push up the map as i mentioned again the segments if you can work on pushing through to the second segment you're definitely going to have the advantage in these gunfights and now i'm in probably the best position to sit on this map with an assault rifle this top satellite area now my job my single job here is just to watch over the teammates on a i don't have to make like i don't even have to get the kills as long as i'm aware i'm calling out getting damage off that's all i need to do of course i'm playing solo queue so it's a bit difficult to kind of communicate with my teammates but we're going to stake through the right here we see an enemy on the left we're going to go through slightly and all i'm trying to do is try to play different angles we take out the guy off the catwalk we're going to go through the left there and i did slightly over challenge there what i should have done is maybe gone a bit to the right but although we over challenged we did our job our team managed to get a and i feel like we were a really big part of that kind of round there because we got about three or four kills on the a side just by sitting that top satellite so if you guys are an assault rifle player i highly recommend sitting on that satellite Although everyone knows you're there, it's just one of those positions where once you're there, it's really difficult for them to stop you. And this is one of my favorite spots as well, once I'm sitting here, because I feel like I just have a whole overview on to B. And like I mentioned, I don't necessarily have to get the kills, but I feel like I'm like a walking UAV right now. I'm just getting so much intel. I'm just kind of watching over. And again, because we are playing solo queue, it's very difficult to kind of um, communicate this with your teammates. But what you want to do is you just want to be as impactful as possible and have the most kind of output because you don't have any comms from your teammates. So that's why when I'm playing like this, I feel like it really helps me in solo because what it does is it just allows me to have I feel like I don't really need to rely on my teammates for any uh, communications or call outs I literally know where everyone is just because of my positioning and I mean that was really good play right there we chucked a stun on the door that wasn't a coincidence we chucked a stun to open the door there and we managed to take him over some nice headshots I mean really good play there we get the two piece and the third guy sneaks up on me but with about a minute left we've only got one and a half ticks left we've got seven life advantages things are looking good here I don't want to take this to the round five I want to finish the game here so we're going to go through once again and see if we can get the advantage here going for the right my teammate does get taken out we're going to use a stun grenade we do manage to make one weak there we managed to take him out no the grenade hits the other opponent we're going to jump through the middle here and just like that my teammate gets a three piece and this is what i'm talking about make sure to push up the map here and you see i heard him right there so make sure you use your headset we take him out and just like that that's four down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to watch this alleyway as long as i'm locking down a segment for my team my team can see in the hill there i'm going to go through watch the alleyway and with a few seconds left we're going to play aggressive we're going to jump on the hill towards the end of it and just like that we managed to get the win so hope you guys did enjoy the video learn a few new things there and we started off pretty slow we made a lot of mistakes in the beginning again new sensitivity I haven't played the game in a while so a lot of mistakes i normally wouldn't make but i think it's good to show you guys maybe games where i'm not playing as well just so you guys can learn from my mistakes as well so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace